Hello viewers, welcome to the channel and welcome to another Minecraft video. In today's tutorial, we're going to be building the Mitsubishi Type 90, main battle tank of the Japanese Ground Self-Defense Force. Alright, to begin layer 1, we're going to use one place block, and behind it a row of three trapdoors, dark oak trapdoors. And this is going to be basically one block uh, from the front. So this is going to be the front of the tank right here, so keep that in mind if you're building this in a bit uh, tight space. Now we're going to grab dark prismine slabs. It's going to be placed off the back. We're going to build a row of one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Yep, that looks good. So that will basically be the floor of the tank, and now we can do the tracks. So we're going to need one nether brick slab, nether brick stair, polished blackstone stair, and some iron stones. So off the side of, I believe, okay. So off the side of the trap door right here, we'll place down an upside down nether brick stair, a nether brick upside right in front. Then a polished blackstone stair right behind the upside down stair. So now we're going to grab our grindstones. We're going to basically angle them like so here. So these two will be facing away from each other, and this one's facing so there's a gap between it. I'm going to skip one block and kind of do the same thing. Oops. Just like that. And then one another brick upside down stair, right behind it. Same thing on the other side, of course. And on the ground here, we're going to dig up all the visible ground blocks here and place them with brick. Now lastly, we're going to take two bands right here. They're going to be a bit different. One is going to be kind of skinnier than the other. So the pattern's right here. And the skinnier one is going to go on the front wheel. And the back is going to be just like that. And of course, the, another pickup set on the stair on the back of the track. And with that done, we can move on to the second layer. So to start the second layer, we're going to place down three lecterns, number row three, right on top of the dark oak trapdoors. And then we're going to place down a row of three green player heads right in front of it. And now we're going to take green terracotta blocks placed on row three. And we're going to carry this back all the way to... Yep. Those are the slabs, just want to make sure here. No, okay, we're going to carry them one more back from that. So right to the upside down nether stair. Just like so. And now we're going to take over a three upside down dark prismic stairs. Moving back to the front here. We're going to take a barrier, place it on one on the front, left, and right side. With an invisible item frame. What if that is not? Do I have one? No. Okay. So let me go grab one of those real quick. Okay, now that I have returned with an invisible item frame, I'm going to place it on one on the front, left, and right side of the barrier, but we're going to do this facing towards the front. So it's going to be off the back of the block. And inside we're going to place down an orange uh, glass block for some lights. Alright, now we can place down, start with the track cover slash fender here. 
and placed on the wall on each side of the uh, top netherpick, netherpick slabs. And we're also going to take green terracotta. And I think we can just move it all the way back since, yeah, we have track guards to cover up the sides anyway. Okay, we're going to stop right at the last grindstone. We're also going to use trapdoors and some dark oak signs. So these signs are going to go right at the front and the side of the wall. I'm also going to use our debug stick here. Okay, we basically want everything but south. Just like that. And now we can take our dark oak trapdoors and place them right on the sides of all these blocks. Now moving on to the back, I'm going to take a dark oak upside down stair, place it right off the back of the last blocks on the side. Place down a sign on the back. An invisible item frame. With a cobweb for the sprocket. And also on the back, we're going to place down two more invisible item frames on the left and right sides of the upside down prismine stairs. And just to have some trick bar hooks lying down. So once you have that done, we can, in fact, continue to do some armor stand bullshittery here. So, let me just get one of those. So this is basically going to be for parts of the turret right here. Because it's basically overhang above the hull, and it's really not that difficult to do compared to some other armor stand stuff I've done in the past. But, anyway. So, for these, we're going to want to place them on the left and right sides of the middle, on the first row of green uh, terracotta blocks. And we're just going to place down two armor stands. And inside we'll need the green heads. And I guess try and place them so they're pretty uh, straight. This one turned out straight, that one's kind of crooked. So we're just going to have to keep going until we get a straight one here. Okay, so I like that one. Uh, now, we're going to do two piston movements. We're going to uh, scoot it to the side and then back. So we'll need a piston and something to actuate the piston. So for this, I'm just going to use this block right here. And same thing on the other side. Then we can repair the sides of the tank. And of course we're going to eventually need an invisible armor standing command, which I don't have in my clipboard, so I'm going to grab that as well. Also going to need to push these guys back. I think you can push them back if they're already in the block. We're gonna find out. I'm not actually sure. Good we can, so 
just like I said, it's going to be basically be in the corner right there. Alright, so with that done, we can, uh, I'm just going to grab my invisible armor stand command here. Now that I put another command in, remove that little thing. That would be one, and this will be two. Okay, so once you have that done, we can move on to the third layer properly. Now we're just going to place down a Darko trapdoor right next to the trapdoors that we have with the heads in front of them, a Darko pressure plate, whoops, like so. And we're also going to take some green terracotta, some cobblestone walls, and a dark prismian stair. So we're going to place down a green terracotta block on this second green terracotta block from the last layer, and then an upside down stair right in front of it. We're then going to place down a moss cobblestone wall to each side of the block, and row three green terracotta blocks to the side of it. And we're going to have three uh, daylight sensors on the side of the tank. So now we can take our debug stick here. And we want all the sides to be tall except for the one on the outside. So it should look just like that. And I want to go out one, two, three, four blocks. Like so. I'm going to put the uh, Darko trapdoor right on the second slab for the fume extractor. And lastly, for the muzzle, we're going to put down a barrier just on the ground right in front of it. And need another armor stand. And for this, we'll need a width skeleton skull, just for the tip of the barrel, both for sort of length reasons, and so it looks like it's been used a bit with the powder burns on it. So now that we have that, we can just push it in place. Oh, I didn't notice that pistons right here. That's convenient. And a lever right there. Okay, so now we can push this guy in place. Just like that. And there we go, so it's invisible. And now we're going to place down a green carpet. Also right on top of the stair. And as well, you, guys, you can see I have this like little armor stand uh, tip sticking out. It's a very small, some sort of sensor. So, uh, if you guys want to do that? I don't exactly remember the steps on how to do it, but meh. So, not the most important thing in the world right now. So, for now, we can just put down a dark oak trapdoor right on top of that little uh, green terracotta block, and behind it. We can put down one, two, three daylight sensors. Now we can continue with our turret here. We're going to go back, go back one, two, three more. And the roof should be dark prismian slabs. Uh, on the left side here, could use a piston. Oh yeah, that thing. Okay. Alright, carrying on. <laughs> Just going to take the dark prismian slabs back on the roof of the turret and bring up two more on the sides, right behind the Rosa Daylight sensors. 
end as well for this uh, optic box right here. If I can grab it, there it is. Okay, I guess I can't grab it, so I'm going to have to find it real quick. So now I grabbed it here. It's going to be some armor stand bullshit again. So we're going to break this right here. Put an armor stand right there. The optic box it like so. And we're just basically going to want a slab iron top of it and to be covered up by the block. So for this, it's a tricky one because we don't exactly want to move it. But we do want to put it in the front. Okay, so that's good. So we do want to move it just a bit. like so. And if you want, you can make it visible, like so. And carry on two more nether, um, dark prismine slabs. So now we can move on to the engine deck here. So for this, whatever kind of banner that is, if I can grab it. No, okay. So, how do I do this? There we go. Super complicated pattern right there. But we're going to break the left and right blocks. Just going to put it in for the uh, turret bustle rack in the back. And now we're just going to use some buttons. So, on the side, two green beds. It's going to need black beds. Put one down in the middle like that. So now we're just going to have to debug this the right way. Whoops. I wanted to do that. Aha, okay. I see how it is. Don't worry, this is possible. Just it's like a puzzle pretty much. Okay, there we go. If you can follow that, good job, first try. And now we can just rotate these to the correct way. Just like that. And now we can move on to the back of it. Stay rid with pistons. Pistons behind the bed, and for this, we're going to place down a row three uh, dark oak signs on the middle three and on the sides, on the back at least. 
Or to use activated rails. Flip them horizontally. And if you want, you can add a uh, little Japanese flag right here. So let's have that done. We're going to take our debug stick and add these extended to be true. So it should look like that from the side. Oh, it doesn't look like I missed anything so far. Alright, so now just for some minor things on the back of it. We'll take a debug stick here, make this a double slab, place a lever off it, make it a bottom slab again. And now it's mainly just item frame stuff. So this can be for the antennas. I'm gonna place them to diagonally, like so. And I'm gonna start on the sides at the back. Same thing on the other side. Just like so. So it should look like that. And lastly, if, we, if you would like, some machine gun in the middle here. So once you have that done, I believe that should finish up our Mitsubishi Type 90. I actually want a little thing, if you want. Just to hide a bit of the side. Put a normal line frame on the side here. With that green stained glass pane. There we go. So I believe that'll finish it up. So I hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you in the next one.